Hey guys, Corey Wilson. I am here to show you how to turn the hydraulics up on your Coyote. I've got the DK4210 and uh, just found out that you know the hydraulics didn't give me quite enough lift. Uh, it's really designed for safety to make sure you don't blow out lines. But if you need to bump it up a little bit, here's how you do it. But do it at your own risk. Um, so you just pop the seat off. There's like six screws or eight screws that hold that in. Just slide your seat forward. You're going to have this valve right here. You got to crack this outside nut. There's two different nuts. Crack that outside nut. And then there's an Allen wrench. That you, uh, sorry, an Allen screw that you'll have to turn in. As you turn it in, that is going to bump the hydraulic pressure up. I bump mine up about one turn. Um, you might want to start at a half turn and see if that makes a difference. That turns the hydraulics up throughout the entire system, but you also have a separate valve for your loader that you have to turn up, which is right here under the passenger side, what would be the passenger side. This is the manifold for the loader. Similar to the other setup, I'm gonna to try to get my camera in there. You've got this valve back here. Okay, you've got a crack, I'm trying to get the camera in there. You've got to crack this outside nut, which is a 13 millimeter, and then turn this Allen in. I turned mine in again about one turn, and it made a tremendous difference in lift. Now I can actually uh, lift and pull the back tires up, um, which is what I wanted to do because I was adding a weight box to the back so that way I could get additional lift out of the tractor. But that's how you do it. Hope this helps. Thanks.